So I was looking at the screen and mom really looks like Vision. <laughs> uh, let's go on to this next level here. Oh, this is a Oh, right. That's not a level. This is the last level here. After this, I'll probably look up like an, an explanation and see if I'll give my theory and my thesis on what's going on. And, and as far as the story goes, that's not really what I'm curious about. Child, one day your kingdom will come. Excuse me. I'm tired of wearing mine. Oh, that's so that's most definitely symbolic of the mom's uh, beaded necklace that she's always wearing. Uh, so I think that was the mom saying, one day you'll have a family of your own. I'm tired of mine. Gosh, that's rough. But it's a nice sunny day now. Anyway, as I was saying, the story, I, I feel like I get. I'm going to give my, my opinion and my idea, uh, hypothesis of what the story is all about and what's going on here. But really what I'm going to look up is what like the currency is and what the purpose of the secrets are if anything I call it currency just because you collect it collectibles I guess I don't know oh jeez come on son okay so it's the red underneath that we're focusing on oh. Oh, no. Dang. So, smaller jumps. There we go. So, it's just basically a full jump without running. But, red usually means I can... So, maybe not. No, I can't. Okay. Again, there's that scale, that ascending scale. Oh. Um, do I need to dance? No. This. Oh, that is definitely not what I'm supposed to do there. Okay, so let's head left. The edge there. Didn't know you could do that. I knew you could jump off the edge and you could roll off the edge. Didn't think you'd actually walk off the edge. Alright. Are you hiding anything over here? French fries? No? Alright. Oh, that was close. So there isn't a specific role for uh, when she's on a platform like that. She'll just do a normal role. Okay, so I have the option to go upstairs and the option to go just this direction in general. Uh, where do we want to go, guys? I also have the option of doing this right here, which I'm going to do. So, made my choice. Because this has this. Yep. 
This also looks like it might have been a dead end. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, okay, cool. Oh! Right. Must dance. like a white ribbon in the background there. Is that what we're gonna travel on this time? The ribbon parts really are beautiful. They feel very freeing, which I imagine is how they're supposed to feel. There's that ribbon. Oh, there we go again. French fries, are you hiding anything? I feel like you might be this time. Oh, it's whatever is over there. It's gonna take me all the way across. But then I'll end up over here just the same, right? Yeah, it looks like I'll just end up over here. Ooh. That was close. Ooh. Okay, let's ascend a little bit more before I jump again. There we go. So are the paper planes bad here again? For a while they were fine, there was nothing wrong with paper planes. Oh, there we go. The ribbons are also different colors a lot of the time. I wonder if that means anything in particular. There's a book heavy in metaphor called Till We Have Faces by C.S. Lewis. Really, really good book. Uh, but like I said before, it's really, really heavy in metaphor. And the whole book is about a lot of different things like self-acceptance and leadership and whatnot. But um, there is a correspondence between C.S. Lewis and a, uh, a college class uh, from when the book first released and this college class read it. And... Uh, it was, the class was, whoops, writing to C.S. Lewis saying, hey, we read the book and we loved it. And we, we think we, like, each of us think we know what the metaphors were, you know, and we think that the mask represents this and this represents that and the pillar room represents this. And, you know, they listed a bunch of things and C.S. Lewis responded and he's like, some of you guys are right and this is does represent that and this you know kind of represents that and this thing you know i actually meant to, to mean that but it's kind of an easy and then finally he's like the pillar room is just a room and everything doesn't always have to represent something like <laughs> so I, I just wonder if i'm overthinking things sometimes here so he wants to scream but he can't sucka because we danced your mouth shut he was playing with a couple of balls over there. I don't know why. Which is a funny phrase. Yes, I understand that. Oh, well, it looks like we can... Because there's, like, money on those orbs. Can we jump on the orbs? I call it money. I don't know what it is. There's also a ladder going down there. There's also stairs going up here. And there's the balance beam that we started on anyway. Wow. A lot of paths to take. Yes, I can walk on the orbs. Can I? Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. I don't know if I can handle this. What? <laughs> Where even am I right now? Okay, I want to get to that one. And now I want to get to that one. 
It's like they have their own gravity. So weird. Okay. Nope. Nope. Okay. Oh, just lost my existence. Where am I? Okay. I'm going to go back to this one over here. And then this one right here. And then... Nope. Did not make that jump. Okay. Ah, uh, it was just a regular jump. And then over here. Nope. Guys, you have no idea how much of a trip it is to be controlling this. There we go. Wow. Okay. This is another one of those secret doors, right? Oh, except I bet it's the exit. And I bet the stairs were our path. Okay, I'm going to backtrack a little bit. I know, I know. I am not going to take the circles again because I get motion sick. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that a second time. <laughs> Alright. Maybe not the stairs. Maybe we take... The ladder? The ladder just looks like it goes the same direction. We'll take the ladder when we come back. Let's try the stairs first. Gosh. This place has so much expo- Oh no, stairs are where we came from. Okay. I see. Because we pushed through that area. Yeah, okay. That was my confusion. Now we're going to take ladder. Oh! I take ladder, I mean walk off the edge. Ow. Not quite what I meant to do, but okay. Here we go. Isle of Pearls. Looks like each level has like a, a hidden secret area. This game has more exploration than I gave it credit for than I originally thought it would have. Very surprised about that. Oh look, and there's a, a picture in the background. It looks like two people hugging. My guess is it's her vision of her mom and her dad reconciling. And those are all the pearls. But it gets shattered. Oh, and it's the necklace that's going around. Going around her neck and like choking her. Oh no, pearls, yep. So she is breaking the necklace because she's so angry. There's the door. This is actually in a kid's room, it looks like. Trophies and toys and drawings and stuff. Where are the kids? You know they're here, yep. Yeah, this is their bed. Oh my, so they're in a one bedroom, there's a bunk bed. The kids are in here, it's their room. And mom and dad are just screaming at each other and mom just rips her necklace apart. Dad's shocked by that. Man. This is heartbreaking. Poor kids. 
And I know that, probably for a lot of you guys, this isn't like an uncommon thing. This is very relatable. It's rough. It sucks. You can hear the piano me uh, melody trying to start. And this isn't a major key. Or maybe it's not. And I'm not sure, just that the, the glock, and I think it's glock and spiel itself, is just really discordant. Look, it's a stream of pearls. So we're not actually on the white ribbon, we're on a red ribbon. But the white ribbons are all around us, that's interesting. I wonder if that means something. I hear the orbs. The, navigating the orbs is a trip. <laughs> Crazy, yeah, look at that. Bet you that could have been a real long path that I was not going to take. Big. Excuse me. It's like 10.30 at night, and that's really late. So many things just form as we get closer to them. So many other things break apart as we get closer to them. It's interesting. And I bet you this is going to be the last one. I bet you we're going to find out. We get to the door. We got to the door. I wonder if there's like a having to walk through it. Right here we're going to get mom and son. Son is dabbing really hard. He's just, he's like YOLO really hard. Sorry, that's not funny. I know, not right now. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, again, I think it's dad leaving and mom has the kids and she's trying to hold them from running to him. And there it is. Picture of a family. And all this is trauma that she's having to deal with now because she's going to have a family of her own. It's not uncommon at all for people who have experienced family trauma in their past to assume that because they grew up with trauma, they will, uh, as a family, as a parent, suffer from the same struggles and again it's one of those perspective changes that people need the, the shift oh yep there's a man there that's got to be dad there's the princess This is her taking control of her kingdom. This is gorgeous. So uh, already, so she's sitting in the throne. We know that she is no longer the princess. She is the queen. She stands up and throws her arms out and the whole environment reacts to her. It has been already, but now she knows it. She, she has purposely done it this time. And now, no level, nothing. We immediately get the ribbon. We're actually walking down it this time and we're not sliding down it. Look at all the ribbons, wow. There's brother and mom. There's 
dad in the background. And he is, he's leaving, he's climbing. But now we're going to him. So where mom and brother kind of went somewhere off down there, we are ascending. We are, you know, making our way the trek uh, to go deal with dad monster, to meet him face to face. And there's the door. We're gonna finish the picture now. Having to stop him. She's reaching out. Here we have Dad with his suitcases leaving. Yep. Getting his coat and he's leaving. That sucks. Broken families suck. I'm sorry, because I bet a large chunk of you guys have to deal with this. It is heartbreaking. Hey, look, this is her forgiving him. Yeah, father. Man, I thought this was going to be like a a cool game with a, a bell arena that uh, that did the mocap for it. I didn't think it was going to be all like emotional. Oh, she's yeah. Does she want to? Do it. Knock. Yeah, absolutely. We're doing this. We've dealt with the trauma. We're, we've confronted the past. We want to talk to him. She just hands him the book. Man. Is there more? I don't think so. That was a very good game. So, it is most definitely, I mean, it's a platformer. Simple as that. Uh, but it most definitely exists to tell a story. Uh, it does not, or it's not here to have incredible gameplay or really push boundaries on the mechanics or anything like that. It exists to tell us the story. And so let me, and I think it's confirmed now, obviously, but let me give you an idea of exactly what we were seeing here. Uh, mother, daughter, father, son, and this woman has all this trauma from the past that we saw. Uh, she has a family, uh, or as a daughter, as a child, uh, had a family who was very dysfunctional and just, which is not uncommon for so many families these days, and that in and of itself is really, really difficult. Um, but she has been dealing with these things, and in a way that she is able to now confront a lot of these fears and through the process the confrontation is something that is played out in this whole ballerina other world thing and behind it all is her actually coming face to face with what she wanted her family to be we end with like these really nice pictures of uh, what she hoped for which was 
a family cooking together, a family holding hands and taking a walk, a mother and a father holding each other and, and like, um, uh, coming to a, an agreement or some, some sort of reconciliation, reconciling, that's what I was looking for, with one another. And uh, all the while, she's hoping these things, and then every single time they're shattered. And after they're shattered, we get this memory, uh, this traumatic memory, and we confront it directly, and then we literally get through it, and we literally leave it behind. We, we confront it directly, we walk through it, and then we leave the room. We confront a traumatic memory and we leave it behind. And it's her coming to terms and accepting these, oh, gosh, just saying it's so beautiful I'm getting choked up. <laughs> it's really well done that it's so literal in that way. And um, each step that she takes, she has this journal of her difficult memories. And finally, she's tearing these pages out, and she crumps up, she throws them away, turn, tearing the pages out, and she throws them away. And at the, the end of it, she's left with this picture of a family. And it's just one of those things where, like, when you can deal with all the hardships, you, you can accept the good times as well. And that sometimes people try and they fail and it sucks and it's rough, but that's just life sometimes. Uh, you know, I had my, my, growing up, my parents had their own issues of their own, uh, but together to this day and everything's great, but like, we definitely went through hard times. And, uh, you know, as a father and a husband today, obviously my wife and I are committed to each other and things are great, but hey, we go through hard times. We do. I'll be honest with you guys. This past, like, year year and a half has been one of the hardest times of my life and we struggle through it and we have to confront and get through these things and so we have literally been confronting and getting through these things with this game and at the end we're presented with this uh, opportunity this option and the beauty of it is either one of these things could explain either her not being okay or being okay so it could be her uh, ringing the doorbell and talking to her dad saying, you know what? I want to reconcile with my dad. I've come to a point of forgiveness that I want to talk to him. But it could also be her saying, I still have uh, bitterness and anger toward him and I want to confront him about this. You know, instead of reconciling, I want to confront him and ask him why and, and blame him, point fingers. Now there's the option of getting in the car and getting in the car to me is either A saying, you know what? I've accepted this and it, it doesn't hurt me like it used to. I, I can just leave. It's not that important to me anymore. And it's her accepting and getting through this, or it could be her still being afraid saying, I'm still not ready. And so she leaves. And any one of those options is a perfectly valid psychological option. And it's beautiful in the way that we as a player get to put ourselves in this moment and uh, being able to um, kind of add our own story into it. So, for example, for me, uh, in my past, again, family struggles, but I've long since uh, forgiven my family, and we have all reconciled with one another. And, you know, my dad uh, lived away from us for a few years, but then came back, and my parents got back together, and it's it, like there's this beauty of reconciliation in my family, and I know... I am lucky and privileged to have that. Uh, not everybody gets that. Maybe they're in a different place. And at that point, maybe the ending of the game means something different to them. But to me, the way that I had this game end, it was she had accepted this and was willing to talk to her dad and just reconcile with him. Game was done beautifully. Um, I don't know how much exploration and if there could have been anything different if we continue to explore. If that's the case, I really encourage you to play it. It's a beautiful game. Like a lot of games uh, with a story like this, it is more impactful when you play it yourself. But also at the same time, I can't imagine with a story like this there being much opportunity for a lot of differences. I would think that no matter what you do, the, the actual story itself is going to play out the same as it goes through because the uh, the writers of the game want to tell this story and they do so very well but I would guess that there's not going to be like a secret hidden ending or or maybe a different storyline that you get through or something else like that so um, if you were satisfied with just watching this playthrough 
that's also fine. And thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for your support. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful game. I really like this. I, I, I mean, you can tell from the top knot. I played it in one sitting. So this is going to be over the course of a couple of weeks. But I hammered this out one night. Just sat down and played it through. Um, beautiful game. As far as a video game goes, just you know, judging graphical power and mechanics and all that other stuff, it's fine. Six and a half, seven out of ten, I guess. Six and a half out of ten. But the story itself and the experience of the game, I, I give it a, an eight, probably. It's just a, a really good, beautiful game. Speed uh, Speedrun menu has been unlocked. Permanent picture setting has been added to the options menu. If turned on, vignette, film grain, and color filter settings adjusted in the photo mode will remain enabled during normal gameplay. Interesting. So there'll be... A photo mode now and we can change the filter in which we're seeing the game that's very cool uh let's options all right oh right because this is meant to be played in vr this i mean there were times when things were inverted and there were times when they weren't and it was a little bit weird but anyway i got used to it real fast speed run menu Wow. So, I mean, this is like legit. You can set this all up hardcore here, man. All right. Show ghosts. So, this is the fastest players run insanity. I wonder if the the shortcuts and the the trophies you get are for like speed run options. Best time, 2 hours, 11 minutes. Or is that 2 minutes, 11? No, okay. Yeah. 2 hours, 11 minutes, 50 seconds, 501 milliseconds. Crazy. All right, well, again, thank you guys so much for watching, for experiencing this uh, with me. Let me know what you think, and let me know kind of what you got out of the game. Uh, I'm going to just say one more time, actually. If you guys are struggling, if you have trauma, if you have struggles, please talk to somebody. Please, you're you're worth checking up on and you're worth getting that stuff out. So we love you. We do. See you guys later. Bye.